Finally tonight, what's it like to hurtle down an ice slope at 90 miles an hour with a danger at every tight corner at a school in Sheffield? Well, they've been finding out. Actually, not for real, thank goodness. Pupils at Hindhouse School were experiencing life as a skeleton bob rider, thanks to champions Kristen Bromley and Shelley Rubman. Now, they took a virtual reality ice ride into lessons. Tom Engel just had to have a go. And how you steer it is by moving your body weight on the sled and getting that sled lent over. Lying down for lessons at Hindhouse School, but it's certainly not a case of sleeping on the job. Let's start the first run. These pupils are the very first people to experience virtual skeleton bob. The system has been developed by a Rotherham company. What do you think about this thing? First, you design the bob you'd like to race, and then you take it for a spin on the ice track. While a computer might supply the ride, the competition is for real. You need to put some aerodynamic on the helmet as well. The secret is to have a sight slight but really fast. So I like use carbon fibre. I didn't think that when you're in, doing a sport like that you'd have to have so much science and what you have to think about to make it go faster. You couldn't wish for two better tutors. Under all the lycra is Kristen Bromley, the 2008 World Skeleton Champion, seen here at the very sharp end of his sport. His partner, Olympic silver medalist Shelley Rudman, is also on hand, blurring the lines between sport and science. It's so technical and so much is involved within it. You know, I've had to become kind of a mini engineer myself and I never would have thought probably seven years ago that I'd end up doing a sport where I needed a, a full kit bag with me with tools. How undignified. Oh, oh I'm That's feeling right. the burn already. And then Luckily, goes. Kristen is on hand to help. But then, it's only a game. It can't be that hard. Put your arms by your side. So far, so good. Uh, arms by the side, okay. Yeah, but the skill really comes in is when you're going around a curve and you're steering one way, and then you steer it back the other way to hit a different curve in a different direction. It's that transfer from one side to the other that's the most difficult. Stand by for action. Kristen, let's do this. Oh, oh you, you just stayed in there. Okay, and you're oh, going to come to another left hand and out. I and and just... Oh, you went the wrong way. It's so easy, isn't it? And that is three weeks in traction. Coming up the finish line now, yeah. and you've done a incredible oh, one minute forty. <laughs> <laughs> incredible one minute forty. <laughs> really? Was that uh, Olympic standard, maybe? Uh, no. Okay. How far off Olympic standard? Probably about twenty-five seconds. Look, there's time. I'm still <laughs> training. We'll make the next Olympics. It's fine. Well, after the rank amateur, fortunately, Hindhouse put in some sterling performances with some excellent sportsmanship to boot. It seems easy on your first go to me than the second, but I found it really fun. And I don't really mind about the winning and the losing, I just, I, just, uh, I just like to enjoy it, really. But in the razor-sharp world of Skeleton Bob, there can only be one champion team. <laughs> it might be virtual reality, but it isn't all downhill from here. Tom Ingle, BBC Look North, Sheffield. It's a bit like presenting Look North, isn't it? A bit of a sort of... What, all downhill yeah, from here? Yeah. Is that Smith. what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you better hand swiftly. Oh, yeah, very look, right professional. On <laughs> Indeed, 